Yeah. I, uh, now, have you been? Uh, would Would you guess when EZG calls in, we can compare notes and and figure this out? But uh, would you say you've been fired more or less than EZG? Or less. The, you've been fired less than EZG. Less. Yeah, he's been fired a lot. Really? I I think at one of his jobs, I think he I think um, then he get fired from the morning show. Uh, at one point in his life. Well, that was I, I. I kind of stole him away. I think you know because I. I kept offering. You know, I. I told him whatever Peter White is paying you to be the entertainment reporter, I will double it and add a zero. I so couldn't I, understand, Matt. I mean, I don't understand why he didn't take me. I right? had the resume for it. Well, I know, but and I, was, uh, I, I was offering you cheaper money. You just didn't sign the contract. But man. he is so famous, and that's the thing. I you know, know the the. the there's a certain credibility and uh, you know brand recognition and so forth that comes with with uh, bringing Easy G uh, onto the show. But uh, yeah, Easy G, I think if if I remember correctly, at one of his uh, jobs, he he worked at a nursing home or something. He accidentally killed an old woman by uh, hitting her with a cart of, of some kind full of dishes, and she uh, she uh, why is that funny? An old woman died. That's no. terrible. Wow. But uh, yeah, you know, I guess he just, you know, he was like, oh, excuse me. And he ran over and uh, she, uh, like her uh, her bones immediately dissolved and, and uh, she uh, and, and she died. This is, a, uh, see, they can't see it on uh, on television, but. Uh, That's a great thing they can't. Software great. update will be auto-installed. Uh, that's what it says on the tablet. How terrifying. Says it. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so. Click it out. Click out of it before it stops. The- oh, ooh. I, I don't know if I can. Hold on. Oh, no, uh, oh it, it, it'll be installed later tonight, it says. Okay. Oh, that's, whoa, what a relief. Oh. I'll tell you what, that was almost a terrible oh. calamity. And I would even spell calamity with a capital C in this case. But, uh, yeah, so, and I think the, uh, I think the job at Creamland, uh, it was something about, he kept referring to it as Creamland, which is actually uh, a very small country. It's right next to Iceland. And, uh, and and so they had to get rid of him for that because it's like, no, it's cream land. It's not Creamland. And uh, so he he had to be fired for that as well. So he's he's had uh, 128 different jobs, I believe. Jesus. S- okay. Several of them, uh, he worked alongside our friend Texas Mike. Uh, they had a job together, Rope and Dogies. And uh, I guess EZG uh, accidentally uh, strangled a dogie or something. It, it's very, uh, which is humiliating. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> I'd feel so. I, you know, just knowing that about him makes it hard to even look at him because I just feel embarrassed for you know him killing a dogie. Yeah, and that's why PETA will have nothing to do with him. By the way, in case you're wondering, I remember uh, uh, the, when uh, when EZG came in one day. This was months ago. He had. Uh, he was all red, like all on his shirt. And it turned out that uh, Chrissy Hind of the Pretenders, you know, she's an activist for PETA. uh, She had uh, uh, ambushed him outside and threw some fake blood on him, some fake animal blood, because, uh, you know, he had uh, strangled a doggie and uh, had to be fired. So as if the humiliation of being fired wasn't enough, you know, you got Chrissy Hind uh, throwing blood on him. So quite the uh, storied career of our friend Easy G. And now look where he's landed himself. Uh, now he's got the big job as the entertainment reporter on the big show. Uh, it's a big show. And he's got beef with Peter. Wait, or do, is that over yet? No, I don't think he, I mean, he's got beef with everybody else. You know, he's got, uh, is he beefing with you about anything? I don't know, man. I thought we squashed the beef, but if he wants to bring it back up, hey, I'm more than willing to do that. There I might be time. Down from a battle. There might be an opportunity to bring, uh, bring the beef back up. I don't know. Because last week, if you heard uh, last week's entertainment report, you know, I thought he was going to do the usual, you know, some Amanda McCarthy tour dates and uh, maybe some uh, April Cushman uh, tour dates or something. Instead, he spent the entire show talking about beef. It was it was crazy. It's like he's got beef with everybody. Jeez, man. You know, beefing with Jeff Nyan, beefing with uh, Gonzo, I Here's think. Here's my question. Beefing with you. Here's my question. How hmm. do you beef with Gonzo? How do you beef with Daryl Dion? Well, uh, f- funny you should ask. Well, so with Daryl Dion, they're like the sweetest people. Well, I well, know. Well, uh, Eric wanted to get down and dirty with Daryl Dion, and <laughs> that just sounds wrong in, in multiple ways. But sounds like a show. But the show name. but the challenge was made. But uh, as far as beefing with Gonzo, you know, John Hopwood's been beefing with Gonzo. That reminds me, I have to announce oh, the yeah. results of our poll. So we put up a poll question. And you can actually still vote. I'm not going to close out the poll 
until tomorrow. So the poll is still up. If you go to mattconnerton.com, if you click uh, Listen Live to go to the Matt Connerton Unleashed page and you scroll to the bottom right, uh, or, uh, well, not not quite the, the bottom right, but close to the bottom, the, uh, the poll is up. Should John Hopwood take Gonzo off of the S list? And uh, viewing the results right now, it's 10 to 1. Ten people voted yes and one person voted no. You are one of the voters, correct? Mm-hmm. So... And you, and what did you vote? Did you vote yes? I voted yes. Mm. Why are you trying to come at Gonzo? Right, right. Well, now um, I've been. Uh, it has been communicated to me uh, by Gonzo that um, you know he has a, a list of demands. Oh, really? Of uh, of this John wasn't Hopwood. Discussed earlier. Well, yeah this hmm. this just came in. Uh, he says. Uh, I have a list of demands uh, for uh, for John Hopwood. Uh, I'd like I'd like you to read number one. Um, <laughs> Yo, he was using speech to text. So let me try this. You can forward it to me, and I'll read it. Oh, I'd like I'd like you to read. Oh, I have a list of demands. I'd like you to read number one. Try and hop on. Okay, I know what he was trying to say. He wants he wants John Hopwood to call into the morning show and apologize to Gonzo. That's a big whoa. Yes. Oh boy. Yes, yes. Um so he wants John Hopwood to call in tomorrow and come in, in, in come the morning on fire show right and apologize. Out of the gate there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, number two, John Hopwood must give me a show where I pick the subject and he must sit next to me and participate. You know, mm. I would love to see that. I would for multiple too. multiple reasons. I would too. That's ratings. That's, that's ratings. That's great ratings right there. Uh, oh, let me, uh, well, here, I'll, I better answer that because Eric gets uh, impatient. He ends up. That's all we're going to hear for the next 30 minutes if you don't. I know. Easy G, is that you? Yes. Why is all kind of crunchy? What? Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, good. Well, the first start off, right? Wow. Brrr. Great sound effects. That was a rough beginning. It was like a car engine. Brrr. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Number three, John Hopwood must engage in a battle of wits sometime in the next two weeks live on the Matt Connerton show against yours truly. Wow, a list of demands. What do you think of this beef, uh, EZG, uh, between Gonzo and John Hopwood? John Hopwood was headed to New Mexico again. I, I think he is. I think John Hopwood is in uh, New Mexico right now, but he'll be back tomorrow, I think, maybe. Over, over right. that quick? I, I think so. I, I don't know. I don't know how that works. When did he go? I'm unclear on these matters. It's uh, it's this, difficult to keep up was with. This, uh, was this why he was trying to me to, to like host his show or something? Oh yes, yes. He wanted you to host his show, and then he offered it to Easy G. Never in a million years. But you were his first choice. I think Sorry. you and Easy G should host together. Sorry, I'm going to have to yeah. respectfully That's decline. Okay. Mm. What's that, Eric? Too hot up there. Last time I did the cruise with Mary, uh, nothing is Mary or anything, but it was so hot up there, I almost passed out. It was so hot, you almost passed out. That is terrifying. I had to wear a mask because there was like six people at the table, and we, mm-hmm. uh, it, was, it was just I couldn't breathe. You know, it was, it was uh, hot, and the mask was on. You know, I, I try to follow the rules. You know, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been set. on like two shows up there. Yeah, you were on uh, Hopwood. No, three. I was on Hopwoods, mm-hmm. a People's Mayor, mm-hmm. and Cruising with Mary. And Cruising with Mary. Yeah, look at you. Uh, now, oh, we wanted to compare. So, EZG, how many times have you been fired? Uh, t- too many times. Too many too times? Many. Uh, too many. Wh- are we in double digits? Oh, definitely. I'm not proud of that. So, let's just, let's just uh, move on. Yeah, uh, well, hang on, though. So, Christian, are you in uh, double digits? No, not even close. Not even close. Okay, so, EZG, you win. Congratulations. Oh, wow. I don't know. If I, I don't think I'm too proud of that. Well, it's uh, you know you got to find something to be proud of. Ezg. I mean, it you know it, 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 take, better than that. Take your. Hey, it's uh, okay. Listen, sometimes jobs just don't agree with us. That's right. Yeah. 
I've quit more than I've got fired. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I've quit that many times, to be honest with you. I've quit numerous of times. Oh. It doesn't look good on the resume, though, so I got to stop doing that. Right. Like, I've, t- I've, I've ranted to you about my resume thing like a million times. Like, I want longe- longevity at a job. Right. Because it looks great on a resume. Yes. <laughs> You don't want to be uh you don't want to be looked at as a job hopper. No. Nope. Hey, I was wondering the uh, uh Matt, is there a uh, weekly die on tonight? I believe there is. Uh I'm yes, glad you uh brought that up, Easy G, because yes, uh the weekly die on tonight at six PM uh immediately yeah. following this program on WMNH, but also another option for you, if you get to the end of today's show of today's Matt Connerton Unleashed, and you go, oh my God, I need more Matt Connerton. It is the first Thursday of the month, which means I will be appearing on the Dr. Kevin Show tonight from 6 to 7 p.m. on the OM Times Radio Network. That's OM, O-M as in OM, OMtimes.com slash I-O-M from uh, 6 to 7 p.m. I'll be on with Dr. Kevin. Oh yeah, friendly reminder when, mm. when we get going on the entertainment report. I yes. Go- can't wait. It's also the first of the month, and we do the, uh, I got one anniversary and a couple of birthdays. Ooh. Yay. Uh, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Well, I'll save it for the report, Easy G. All right, this is giving you an uh, advance warning. Oh, right. Well, we appreciate that. I was wondering, too, you haven't played the uh, a Foghorn in a while, so maybe we, uh, you can play it right now for the uh, no longer with us, Jim Cornette. Former uh, what wrestling producer Jim Cornette? Yeah, he um he passed away. He was a uh, he worked on the behind the scenes, the wrestling days. Manager, Jim producer. Jim Cornette? Yeah, no, yeah, you guys are no Jim Cornette. Um, yeah, he I I saw something about it this morning. You guys are messing was, with me. Seventy six years old. I I, I said you were uh, seventy six years old. Facebook post about it. I said it to your your uh, Jim Cornette your wasn't seventy six years old. He was. No, you guys are confused. It wasn't Jim Cornette. I don't think it was actually. It was. He passed away. He was sick. No, Jim Cornette's Jim Cornette's fifty nine. Jim Cornette's never going to die. He's going to live forever. He's gone. So we get a we get a fog going for him. <laughs> no, it's Jim Cornette's not dead. Who's Who, not dead? Who Wait, died? Maybe. Your Facebook when the show's over, I send you a Facebook message. You did? I'm looking at I'm looking at Facebook. I don't I'm looking at your messages to me. I don't see anything about Jim Cornette dying. I don't think it was someone from AEW, I believe. Oh no, he never worked for AEW. He worked with WWE, he worked for uh NWA, he worked for double uh WCW. Yeah, somebody died. Uh it wasn't yeah, Jim, it wasn't Cornette. It wasn't Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette's not dead. I stand completely corrected. Wait, let me take my, my feet here. Did you figure it out? It's not him, but I don't know who it is now. Because Jim Cornette. I looked it up. Maybe. It's not him. Yeah. He's still tweeting. He's tweeting live. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. About the CPAP. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know who died. Uh, Jim Crockett Jr. Oh, Jim Crockett. Yeah, me, I'm, I, I get the name mixed up. Yeah, Jim Crockett. Yes. We have a fog one for him. A foghorn? Why? Foghorn. Why a foghorn? Play it all the time. You never do that anymore. Oh, well, you mean the? Uh, I know what you mean. Hang on, I got you. I got you. Easy G. I don't know if the DJ air horn effect is is really uh, the thing for when for when <laughs> someone dies. But what the hell? Here we here we go. I mean, I, I use that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's dead. <laughs> Jim Crockett Jr. is dead. Everybody. <laughs> I'm just glad you you guys scared the hell out of me. Yo, I, was I like, adore I adore Jim Cornette. You guys legitimately he, scared me. It doesn't he have like a podcast yeah. now? The, the, the Jim Cornette experience, yeah, he's like, which he's, I love. He's into like he's not allowed to die. No, okay, good to know. All right. Hmm. He goes all right. You guys scared the hell out of me. I was like, I, what? Next time, next time I'm doing more research, man. I'll go with names. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! All right, right, I'm ready to do my report when you're ready, there, Mr. Uh, Matt. I am. I am having a little bit of an issue on my computer. I gotta find your. Uh, I gotta find your intro here. Hey, hold for on, the hold on. I, I got a good song. I got a good song. It was actually recommended. Can we do Amanda by Boston? 
Uh, Come on, just for just for his intro. You we'll the- we'll we'll play we'll play it afterward. I've got I just found his intro. We got to hear the intro because you know DJ Midas produced this and really? he was and he was on the morning show today. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, no. DJ Midas I've never uh, met, produced uh, the um, intro for Easy G. You've never met him? I've never met him. Oh, well here. So here I've listened to his mixes though. They're- Oh Fire. yeah! Oh yeah! Late They're, night delight every uh, Saturday night from twelve midnight to four a.m. with a replay on Sunday night. All right, here we go. This one. I'm, I'm sorry. What easy G? DJ in town. Yes, That's DJ in town. That's right. I don't know. I hang out with a lot of DJs now. Well, he's the best one I know. <laughs> All right, here we go. He was once a thug from around the way. Easy. You want to know about stock market crashes, COVID-19, drive-bys, celebrity gossip? Easy G's gotcha. Entertainment report style. That's why I'm easy. Because ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Are you ready for stock time? Let's find out. Ready, set, go. It's funny, you used to play that foghorn a lot. You haven't done that like the first time this year. It's not really a foghorn, uh, Eric. Whatever, a loud noise uh, thing. Whatever that thing is. I call it the hype horn. What do you call it? I call it the hype horn. The hype horn. I like that. Because it's used in like, and like when I've noticed a lot of DJs like now they'll use it to hype people up or like if, if there's a bass drop or something after or after the song, they'll use it. Well, we'll call it loud Ooh. noises. OK, whatever it is, you haven't played that in a long time. Come on, man. All right. Everybody ready? No, we're ready. We've been waiting. All right, yeah. Oh, wait, we have a call. Hang Hold on, on ECG. We have go. a call. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Hey, this is Mary from Manchester. Hey, Mary um, from I Manchester. Heard, yes, uh, I heard Easy talking about the foghorn. Yes, and I, this is just this is going to be the most random comment you probably will ever get. But You'd I don't know surprised. if you guys have <laughs> seen Easy G probably has the Me TV commercials for the cartoons. I haven't seen or that. Or it has Bugs Bunny, like it, it's on like seven, seven in the morning. Well, there's yeah, one yeah, cartoon. Yeah. It's usually on about six o'clock in the morning, and it's <laughs> Yosemite Sam chasing uh, Elmer Fudd up the aisle of a movie theater, and he's chasing him with a shotgun. Yeah. But the the creepy part is Elmer Fudd's just wearing a purple diaper. Nothing else. Really. That's, Have you oh. seen it? You, you're gonna. You're, once you see it, you're gonna say, "Oh my god, what the heck is this?" <laughs> so first off, I'm not. <laughs> so I don't know what the backstory is, but, so. but no. when you said because wow. one of their other commercials is Foghorn Leghorn. Oh yes, Foghorn Leghorn. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So that's when he said the Foghorn. It made me. It reminded me of that commercial. I'm like, uh, it, this is the creepiest commercial ever. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I love you guys. You guys doing well? Yes. Yes. Doing great. Yes, we're doing great. I'm just, re- I'm just relieved that Jim Cornette's not dead. I'm sorry to scare you like that, like that, Matt. Mm-hmm. Can you please don't put me back on the S list. Okay, uh, uh, behind the scenes. Uh, and easy, easy's doing good. Are you doing? Uh, you doing good, Easy? Hanging in there, best I can. He's hanging in there, best He's he can. He's itching to do his entertainment report. And anything can happen in this crazy world. That's right. His parents are good. Okay, I'll, yeah. I will leave you guys alone. But when I heard <laughs> Foghorn, I just—you guys are going to see that commercial, and it's going right. to leave a mark in your head for sure. Very good, very good. All right, Mary, thank you for the call. We appreciate it. Oh, okay, no problem. Have a great night. All right, you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, Mary from Manchester. Wow. I think it's the first time she's ever called. No, I don't think so. Because I think she called when Gonzo was on. Yeah, I thought that was the same Mary. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, now we're just overusing the horn. Can we lay off of that? Because I'm gonna have to hear that a million times tonight, and I'm probably gonna use it a million times tonight. Oh, good. So, I'm surprised to uh, when DJ Minus was on today, he didn't give a shout out, but I'll do it right now. One of his relatives shout out today. Uh, last Saturday, she's uh, she's engaged now. Kellyanne Manning and Ray. Oh, Kellyanne Manning. I they're used related. To see her, uh, I used well. They're going to be. They're engaged. 
Oh, oh, oh you mean is she in, like, related to John Manning? Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Well, how they're related, but they're related. Uh, Kellyanne Manning used to show up in the Facebook live chat uh, quite a bit during my show and would identify herself as uh, being at work at, in uh, Boogie Down Brockton. Right. So uh, congratulations to them and uh, many happy days to, for them. I hope they have happy days. Yes, and I definitely never dedicated the show to them before, but it's a new thing a friend of mine uh, uh, are learning is about. It's a... Uh, it's on the Facebook, and, uh, and it's called Elevation Church. It's Pastor Steve and his wife, Holly. Have you ever heard of them, uh, Matt or uh, Chris? Uh, uh, nope. Pastor Steve and his wife, Holly. I don't know anything about them, but I'm sure they're quite uh, quite uh, holy. Holy Holly. Bruce and I don't like this kind of church, but the uh, the guy's really loud. And he yells a lot. Uh-huh. So nobody... Fall asleep at his church. He's very loud, you know. He's like a uh, like a almost like a Baptist minister. You know, yelling. Two places I fell asleep: Jesus! the morning show and the church. He's, he's loud. Mm. He's I, had real loud <laughs> I had to do it. Really good. Sorry, Peter. Wow. What? So he yells a lot. Like, what does he yell? Like, you're going to hell if you don't do what I tell you, or something. Like, what does he yell at you? And I get an amen for everybody. Amen. Oh, that's a little hallelujah. Bit- well, you mentioned, uh, you know, because Baptists are very aggressive about telling you you're going to hell. Oh. So, you know, they're like right in your face. So I thought maybe it was that kind of church. You said you don't usually like that kind of church. You don't like it when people yell at you at, in church? I usually don't like it when the minister uh, uh, gets loud, but this guy's really good. Right, right. We haven't heard from Father Bruno in a long time. I hope he's well. Yes. And also uh, uh, coming up this, uh, speaking of church, is the, uh, this Sunday will be the third week of Lent. Third week of Lent? <laughs> Sign up and it's free. The anybody can sign up for this thing. It's uh, go to her her Facebook post. Ray Lynn, the country artist, is at eight o'clock. Is having a free live stream uh, music, playing some music. Ray Lynn, yeah, country artist. You ever heard of her? Yeah, quite a few times. She's not local though. She is not. No, but she's really good. Hmm. Shout outs for well, Ray Lynn. How about the Amanda McCarthy tour dates? Ooh, yeah. We gonna get some of those. First, we're gonna do the uh, uh, the anniversary. How about April Cushman? Right. Oh, he's got uh, you. You've got the anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Pour a cheerful toast and fill it. Happy anniversary! But be careful, you don't spill it. Happy anniversary! Oh. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Well, we have a call. Uh, I'm hang, Bruce. Hang, hang on, Easy G. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Anybody there? If you're there, turn your radio down because we're getting feedback. It's the Phantom. Ooh. That is so, so creepy when uh, when people do that. Doesn't. I remember, um, I remember hearing once about uh, uh, some guy like Barry Charles or somebody who does that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Easy G. Uh, what what were you saying? I'm, I'm, you'll have to excuse me. I'm just a little creeped out at the moment. Happy anniversary to my friend Bruce's mother and father. They were married on St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day. I love it. I'm Irish. We have a couple birthdays now. My uh, my cousin, uh, second cousin, Michael. Very, very child. The mayor of Manchester's birthday, Joyce Craig. You know what? I got a bone to pick with Joyce Craig. Well, uh, let's not. Uh, no, not today, though. Not, it's a good bone. Not this show. Very, very child. I'm sorry, what was that, Eric? Can you repeat the last uh, 90 seconds or so? April Cushman's birthday today. Oh, April Cushman. Well, I feel like, feel like over 100 uh, happy birthdays on our, on our Facebook post. Oh, very nice. I mean, she's a very pop, pop, popular person. If yes. If I speak English, that'd be great. Yes, she is. Absolutely. Very nice. I believe at one point she was supposed to open up with a for a country duo, Dan and Shay, a few months ago, but yeah, it never I, happened. I, I, hmm. The COVID or snow or something, but she's got a couple of big shows coming up. 
in the second half of the year. So God willing, they'll happen. What's the big show? Yeah, there you go. Now, if you're looking for some other uh, shows coming out, speaking of shows, uh, Paul Nelson right here at Manchester, the Share Brews Company, and he's playing at uh, six o'clock on the, on March 27th. And oh yeah, and, uh, speaking of wrestling, uh, AEW is coming around April 21st at seven o'clock. Dynamite at 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 uh, a A G A N I S A Egner or I know I'm butchering it. Egner's Arena in Boston, Massachusetts. And oh yes, oh yeah. And uh, uh, Wednesday, uh, Melissa Edgeridge is playing at the Music Hall in Portsmouth. I've seen this lady before, I believe. April twenty first at seven thirty. Melissa Etheridge. Have you gone yep. to her window? Uh, I think I saw her years ago at the. Uh, when oh, she well, you have. On, uh, wow. Edgeridge Park. Oh. <laughs> What's going on over there, Christian? Um, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Good, good. What What's going on in the uh, chat room? Uh, any- oh, it's not what's going on in the chat room. It's just, it's just me and Jenny having a nice conversation. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. I'm sorry, EZG. Go ahead. Your mother figure. Saturday, April 10th at 8 o'clock, Sarah Bondry is one of her favorites. Uh, Foreigner's Journey will be at Tulip Bowl's Music Hall. Hey, fun fact. I opened up for Foreigner's Journey last year. Did you? At Veterans Park. Yes, I did. Great band, so love them. Two years ago, they didn't, have, they didn't have any concerts last year. Well, not last year, ago. the year before at Veterans Park. Uh, I stand uh, corrected. Sorry, the time the time space continuum is broken. Okay, yeah, listen. Foreigners, uh, I, I just want to say too, Foreigners Journey. They do a lot of great work uh, in uh, immigration. Yeah, it's true. So, Sunday, the Celtic Woman not at eight o'clock on March twenty-fourth, okay. Chevrolet Theater in Bedford, Massachusetts. Now the- and if you're looking for something to do on, for uh, St. Patty's Day, March 13th at 6.30, St. Patrick's Day beer and dinner at La Marles. For Bell's Winery in Amherst, you got to get a um, make a reservation. And if you're looking to get married, this is your time. Uh, Wedding Expo, March 28th, right here on Elm Street. 95.7 is the sponsor. And it's at the Doubletree Hotel at 11 o'clock. So all you married folks. Now, uh, Eric, you mentioned the uh, you mentioned the Celtic women. Uh, uh, Christian might not know about this. But I know about the, the Celtic women. No, this is uh, no. Eric was talking about the 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 uh, Celtic the Celtic women. They're the uh, the female basketball team. They play for the WNBA, uh, and then uh, once a year they do a big intergender uh, basketball game with the Boston uh, Celtics. It's, it's Celtic woman, by, by the way. My oh, bad. I'm sorry. And, and once a year, they do an intergender game against yeah, the Boston and, uh, Celtics. Yeah, sorry. And, thank and you. Coming around the horn, the Adam Ezra uh, group, I've seen them a, uh, a couple of times at Veterans Park on a Friday, March 21st at 730 in the Flying Monkey it's, uh, Movie House in Center for Performance. And they'll be playing over there at 730. Adam Ezra, and, the Adam Ezra group will always have a special place in my heart. They're so good. Yes, they are. I interviewed yeah. uh, Adam Ezra once. Uh, I wanted to open for him when I was open. When I opened up for Foreigner's Journey, there was talks about it, and then it just yeah, no, uh, it didn't go very long that that day. They do a, fa- huh. they do a Facebook uh, thing, I think, every night uh, for music. You know, he is three hundred and something episodes deep on that. So yeah, I heard a rumor, and I don't know if this is confirmed, but I heard that you, in fact, they were going to pick you to open, and then Easy G went and talked to them and said that uh, you didn't want to do it. You decided to mix it up. Oh really? <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, it's pretty. Sure, I'm pretty that's, sure it's because I butchered my show. Oh, okay. Well, that might be. And if you're looking for something to do on Easter Sunday, it's an Easter Sunday brunch at Amherst uh, LaBelle Winery on a Sunday. At, they have two servings at 10 a.m. and 2.30 of great food, and you have to make reservations for that. And I saw this guy years ago at the Snoo Arena. I believe it, Michael Boulay at 7 o'clock. He's playing in Massachusetts. March 8th at TD Bank in Boston. Did you know, by the way, Michael Bublé's uh, real name is uh, Michelangelo Bubala Hubala Hey, and the record company said that's too long. We're going to need to shorten that up. Uh, consumers won't remember that. We got to sell your music here, you know. Yes, you're right. In the mm-hmm. uh, thank Celtics, you. Celtics, the next, next three games are going to tonight, on March fourth against the Raptors. Is it the then Celtics the or the Celtics? All star game on Sunday, so the next game will be March 11th versus the Nets, and then March 14th. Whereas the Rockets are doing a, lot, a little bit better, they won three in a row. And now that now it is March, you can get your uh, uh, ticket to go see the Monarchs. They're selling the main tickets on March fifteenth. So you can call 603-641-2005. Wait, or you pause. Can go down to the, to the office. Oh, 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 Christian. The uh, Monarchs are still a team. I'm oh, sorry, the Fisher Cat. Okay, yeah, all right. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Yeah. 18th season of Fun. So the. Uh, 
we're interested to see what happens with them. And their first game is co- is coming up May fourth on a Thursday, and they're, they're going to be playing versus the Sea Dogs at, in in Portland, Maine. Uh, and, um, Easy G, uh, we have uh, the president of the United States. He has a question for you. Uh, how many oh, really? push-ups you want to do here, pal? Oh, come on, man. You gonna oh, you gonna answer him, Mr. President? How many push-ups you want to do? Uh, zero. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not feeling the best. So oh, okay. I only what are we talking um, about? Come on, man. What are we talking? Then we get the NASCAR update. We had another uh, for, uh, uh, first time winner. This uh, I love NASCAR. Bunch of rednecks please, driving around in a circle. Hey, hey, what? hey, you. Right. Hey, you take that back. I love it. You take that. Back. I you love better it. Better love it. I love it. This Sunday oh, they're oh. having the Penzo 400 in Las Vegas at 3:30 on Fox. I wonder if there'll be another last lap crash. Ooh, that's the one thing I like. The following Sunday, the March 21st at 3 o'clock, the Atlanta Folds of Honor Quick Trip 400. Atlanta Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500? It's something to do with the veterans. Yeah, I believe. This Saturday, it's been delayed because of COVID, and it's going to be on another race. It's called WGIR. It's March 5th, the uh, 7 o'clock, the uh, UNH football will play Albany. Mm. So of all your UNH fans, the hockey team has done really bad, so I'm hoping that the uh, football team will just do a little bit better. <laughs> so wow! Yeah. What? What? You don't? Uh, you don't agree, uh, Christian? About uh, no, the, uh, I the hockey agree, team but don't call them out like that. Oh, well, the guys, UNH like men's hockey team sucks. A just kidding. Season. Well, it's not really their fault because they've had a lot of trouble with the uh, COVID. Mm. People lost like what eight to ten games doing? this year. Come on, man! What are you gonna do? It's the age of COVID. And then on March 25th, the NBA trade deadline. And then look for the Celtics to be active for that. For their uh, season's not doing the best. So see Come on, man. Get so, a life. Uh, so what point do we get to the MLB? Because there's a lot of MLB news. But we'll save that for off the mark sports with Kyle Heavey. Oh, I don't know. He well, might have a, a whole section prepared of MLB news. Do you have some MLB yeah. news uh, uh, there, uh, Easy G? Red Sox lost their preseason game today. But the, the oh. game doesn't count. So. Oh, well, the big event today is, uh, did you guys know, do you have anything about this EZG in your report? Uh, It is March 4th, according to QAnon. uh, President Donald Trump uh, resumes his... Yeah, he's coming uh, back, man. He resumes his presidency today. Do you know... Coming back. He took a a few months break. That's fake fake news. We've already got a president. His name's Joe Biden, so... Oh. Oh, right. That's... Careful. That is true. Everybody knows who this guy is. Come on, man. Yeah. If you get your tickets at, at uh, Anselm at, at .edu or 603 Wait, a concert what tonight. <laughs> what? Tonight. <laughs> what event's going on at St. A's? I All I know is, I, I believe... Yeah, it's the Sunday Orchestra at 7.30, and then they get the next following, March 12th, they get an Irish song. I think it's Carrie pronounced... Cool. I think it's pronounced Saint Anselm. I, I I I was once told that Manchester people get a little annoyed if you pronounce it Saint Anselm. Uh, All right. That doesn't, uh, yeah, not everyone likes that. Easy G. Folk and contemporary songs. If you like your Irish music, I don't. I should. I'm Irish. Oh, there you go. I'm good. And then the more driving Greek meals at Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church in Concord, I on like North a- State Street, will hold this next Fox Greek dinner to be held on Sunday, this Sunday, March 7th, from noon to, from noon to 1 noon, uh, through March 3rd. Uh huh. Yeah. Sunday, I like a. Yeah. I like a good with Greek, Greek salad. Greek beef stew and with orzo Greek salad and a dinner roll for fifteen dollars a person. I love you feta cheese. Only the email. Oh, the email's too long. So just call 603 Oh, sorry, nine five three six zero three nine five three three zero five one to place your order. Ooh. And I'll have a couple other events coming up, but we'll get. It. Oh yeah, they, they have this other thing. Fun thing now too that. March 25th, Bite Out of Hunger, the Salvation Army Women's Auxiliary is selling chocolate Easter bunnies made by Granite State Candy Shop right here in Elm Street. It's part of their Bite Out of Hunger campaign, and it costs eight fifty for an 8-ounce solid milk, white, or dark chocolate bunny. And the proceeds bed the Kids Cafe, which offers children and teens meals and recreation activities four evenings a week. Oh, well, that's so very, call the bunny. very good cause. So if you order a bunny, you call uh, Chairman Sylvia Kratt at... Six zero three four nine zero four one zero seven, and I ordered one for a friend of mine. Oh, you did? I did. See what else is cooking here. Oh yeah, you might want to check out the. Um, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Angel with pasta and cheese, or in, over on uh, eight fifteen Chestnut Street, they have gift baskets and cheese and pasta and wine. 
And they also have their some selections over at the bookery. So you can get more information at 603 625 Nine five four four. I like cheese. What kind of do they have? Extra sharp cheddar. They might. They There's better. Some mild cheddar in the fridge. Mild cheddar. Oh, I like the extra sharp. Go sharp or go home. That's what I say. What's the point of mild cheddar? I mean, I don't it, know. Come on. Ask yourself. Didn't you have some this morning? Mild cheddar. Yeah. Oh well, I sprinkled some on my chili. Yes. And we got some stuff going that on. The majestic true. cheddar. No. Oh yes. Is Robert Dion, uh, he's a head, head cheese over there. Speaking of the head oh. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. So about six six nine seven four six nine. It's the thirtieth year of the Majestic Theater. Plus they have the, the Ted Hebert's classes in person and virtual. Uh huh. And right now they're coming up right around the corner. Mar- <coughs> excuse me. Oh, March twenty sixth is the twentieth. Right. Disney's The Little Mermaid Junior, Youth and Teens, and it's going to be at the um, oh yeah live streamed, and it's going to be on Majestic. You get more information MajesticTheater dot net for ticket information. And you can also call them up that same number, and you can give them a donation, or you can give you can you get some uh, gift cards. Why the hell would I and take a test? Day of the Come on, man. Band, and Robert Dion and his friend Keith will be in person, and they have only have limited tickets left, and they go on sale um, uh, on March first. So they might already be gone, but they are going to be doing the uh, virtual too on the YouTube. So you might want to check that out. Uh huh. Interesting. Hmm. Oh yeah, the uh, oh, here we, oh yeah, they're gonna have the um, um, right here in Elm Street, Baron Life uh, Bear a thon for the uh, Relay for Life. The what? When, 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 what? <laughs> what? When? Where? Why? <laughs> it's a place where you do the yoga and stuff and the other exercise classes. With a, you do, right doing oh, yoga, having goat yoga. Doing yoga with a bear sounds really dangerous. Sounds like a broken back to me, but I'm, I'm all it's, set. Mm-hmm. At 8 a.m., it's, they have the, it's a relay for life. Uh, uh, 100% of the, of, the, of, the, of the fundraising will go towards uh, the American Cancer Society, so you can get more information on wow. their Facebook page. And, uh, and um, uh, oh, yeah, and then I, I got another uh, donation today. So I've raised, and I'm still the top fundraiser. I'm not the top fundraising team right now, but I'm, I'm catching up to them. The top fundraising team, believe it or not, has raised one thousand six hundred and fifty dollars, but I've raised one thousand five hundred and two dollars. That is awesome, Eric. We are very, because very proud of you. Thousand dollars, and I've raised five hundred and two dollars more. That's a no. Yeah, that's still, that's awesome, dude. That's time, great. To raise a lot more. So, if you would like to go on my Facebook page, and so uh, to uh, make a donation for the American Cancer Society Relay for Life on June fifth, you can go to my Facebook page and hit the donate button, and that would be. Excellent, if you can do that. Also, if you and go to his Facebook the, um, page, he'll give you a free birthday shout-out. Ooh, very nice. There you go. And then, of course, coming up, uh, now it's March, it's coming up, it's Fast Lane. Fast Lane. Life in the Fast Lane. Saturday is a revolution, and the, and the Tony Khan, who's, who's the owner, and I guess he's the owner of a Florida... Um, uh, baseball team too, or hockey team? He's a real football. rich guy. <laughs> football team. Oh, we have a. Oh, hang, hang on, EZG. We have a call. This might be uh, Scott Robinson oh, okay. looking for those Amanda McCarthy uh, tour dates. Hey. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Hey, uh, it's Gonzo. Actually, I oh. have a question for Eric. Oh, hey, Gonzo. Gonzo, yes, welcome. My question is: When he got his um, spa day, how did it feel to be touched by a woman? <laughs> I'll hang up and listen. All right, <laughs> all right. thanks, Gonzo. No, no. no. <laughs> you already discussed it on the on the Peter White morning show, so that's old news. So. But I want to hear it. Man. Would, would you like to come on Matt Connerton Unsheathed and discuss it? Yeah, then we'll do that later. Yeah, the three a.m. Yes. <laughs> that's about three a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on, the uh, golf golf majors. Um, uh, finally, then that's going on next month. The first one, and of course, the last one was Masters in November because of COVID. But this one here is the regular Masters on April 8th to the 10th. And I can get kind of guarantee it's the 85th one that Tiger Woods will not be there, unfortunately, due to his horrible car accident. So that's a bummer because he always uh, rakes in the ratings. Oh, we have, uh, uh, we, have, we, have uh, no, we have another call? Oh. And I can get, kind of guarantee it's the 85th Hello. one that Tiger Woods will Hello. not be there. Hello. Turn down your radio. I am. Turn it down right now. Hold on. That's a bummer because he I'm was trying to get uh, it. Right the oh, my God. Oh, we have, uh, we have, we have. It's like we're time traveling. Hi, Matt. Hi. I did it. 
Uh, yes, thank this you. Scott Robinson. Oh, Scott Robinson. I know why you're calling. You're looking for some Amanda McCarthy tour dates. <laughs> Well, I got a, I had a couple, I got a couple problems today. Uh oh! All right. I'm sorry. Why did not? Why did not my me and wife get our anniversary uh, announced on the? Uh, oh, easy G. Wasn't aware. Oh, you weren't aware. He wasn't aware, okay. Scott. Can you believe this guy? Today? I messaged him. I put it on the Facebook chat. I did everything. Oh. <laughs> He's in big trouble. You're in big trouble, Eric. I would Eric. just like to inform you that Ray Lynn is having a live stream event on March 31st. Oh. Today is the anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank oh, you, Evie. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is everywhere and anywhere. What is going on? Well, here. Are we skipping so the Amanda confused. today? What's that? Are we skipping Amanda tonight? Oh, I don't think I don't think so. I don't think Easy G would ever skip Amanda. What day, what day is your anniversary? Since I forgot to announce it, the seventh. Oh, the seventh. All right. Well, 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 we can do it right now. Then you can hit the music there. Uh, oh, okay. Matt, please. Yep. I love how he's like, yo. Yep. Hit the music. Here we go. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Very nice. Perfect. <laughs> Lovely. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Scott. We are, well, we are going to go see Robert Dion in uh, Agunquit, Maine this weekend. Oh, very nice. We're in Agunquit. Huh. Well, it's, uh, I think the state, not the stage, it's this show. Something dork in, uh, in Agunquit. Okay. We stay in Wells, but it's right on the road, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, He's a really talented musician. Absolutely. I love him. Absolutely. We love Robert Dion. Hey Matt, I, I sent you this nice link of a nice uh state rep we have in this in this in the state. All right. Um so look look that up on your Facebook. I, I tagged you in it. And god. I think you'll really appreciate this guy. Oh god. Okay. When oh, god. when did you send it? You 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 messaged oh. it to uh, probably me? about a half hour ago. Did you message it or did you make a post and tag me? Because for some reason I tagged you. Oh gotcha. I Gotcha. This guy is, he's something special. We oh. got some really great state reps. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't mean, I don't mean that person. <laughs> oh, we got some, r- right. I mean, one this, in particular. This, this old fart. Oh, my God. Ooh. Yeah. Ref, ref, refers to L, refers to LGBTQ as deviant sexuality. The New Hampshire oh, state, God. like the state reps, like when they gathered in Bedford. Recently, like last week yeah. or something, they made like national news. Hampshire. Yeah, for being that's a New Hampshire state rep. Yeah, well, the good news is he's um he's he looks to be very old. If you get what I'm saying, yeah, that's no excuse. No, you're, it's not an excuse. If you're voted in, then you should represent everybody. No, oh. I, no, I, <laughs> I, I I agree. I don't mean it as an excuse, but you know, I I often say I can name a few that I, don't. I, I, I think this stuff does get better with every generation because some of these some of these old outdated attitudes kind of die off with the people who <laughs> perpetuate them. You know, that's what I mean by he looks very old. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. It's yeah, right. he he won't that's be not how I took it. He okay. won't he he won't be around forever. <clears throat> John Claude told me he won by ten votes this last time, so hopefully those people take their votes back. Uh, yes, yes. I I hope uh, plot twist. I'm running so. for whatever John Hopwood runs for. Oh, wow. Very good. I'm running for Alderman at Large in Manchester, New Hampshire. Please vote for me. Oh, very exciting. I will vote for you. Please me. do. Please do. Let's get me to at least 25 write-in votes in September. All right. Free ponies for everybody. Vote. Free cake. Very good. Very good. All right, Scott. All right. You know what? I just want to say, uh, Easy, you are the man. He is. Well, thank you very much. I try. <laughs> very good. All right, Matt. You guys have a good day. All right, Scott. Thank you for the call. Take care. Thank you. Bye. All right. The great uh, Scott Robinson. I think Scott is your biggest fan, EZG. He is. He's number one, my number one fan. He's your number they, one uh, fan. The Bruins have it on a little slide, so hopefully they'll, they'll back to their winning ways tomorrow night. They're playing Washington. Don't Ooh. get Kyle Decided started on that. And then Tuesday they're playing the Islanders, so hopefully they'll, they'll get back to their winning ways. And the Palestinian.org is to continue doing their virtual shows. So you can go to Palestinian.org, and you can also get, give them a donation, or they, they're selling uh, gift cards. It's like the Majestic Theater. 
Oh. Oh yeah, and uh, oh yeah. Also today, uh, believe it or not, over at the uh, Hop Knot, your wonderful sponsor, One Thousand yes. Street. Yes. You get a Hop Knot mask today, and it's ten dollars, and you get ten percent off when you wear it at the store, and you get another ten percent off because takeout Thursday at the Hop Knot. So yes. See a fun thing going on at the Hop Knot. Delicious gourmet pretzels. They have craft beer. Oh, and it's uh, Thursday, which means it's also trivia night. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, yes. Alan yes. Baudry's uh, um, um, husband does the uh, trivia there, and uh, I forget his name right now, but he'll, he will be in the house. Yes, in it, or in the house, as I think the young people say that now, Christian. They mm-hmm. say in the house. In the house. Uh, hopefully he is uh, listening. Uh, Scott Robinson going to get the Amanda McCarthy uh, gigs uh, coming up. Ooh. She is going to be playing uh, March 6th on Saturday at the Lost Daddy Irish Pub and Restaurant over in Nashville. And then Saturday, March 27th, he's playing the BS Brew Works in Springfield, Tennessee. And these are some new dates for April. April 18th on a Sunday, the Copper Top Bar Grill in Huntsville, Alabama. And then April 16th and 17th, he's playing Saturday in Georgia at Bradley Bar and Grill. And uh, that'll be in, uh, you know, oh yeah, Georgia. And Georgia? Playing- March 4th tonight at the 404 Bar and Grill in Nashville. And tomorrow night, he's playing the College Grove in Tennessee and, uh, on a Friday. And then March 9th, he's playing Tuesday at the Alley Taps, Nashville, Tennessee. And then this place here, he's playing March 31st, April 28th, and St. Patty's Day at the Brentwood Suits Hotel in Brentwood's, new, uh, Brentwood's Tennessee. So he's got three gigs at the same place. That's pretty good. They must really like her, I guess, Matt, right? Yeah, so if anybody wants to fly out to Nashville or Tennessee in general, just, you know. Man, you could, Amanda McCarthy. I would, I would, uh, I would drive. I wouldn't recommend getting on an airplane. Oh, yeah, I would you drive. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. all over the, the country and the United States, so there may be somebody listening in Tennessee. That's right. That's we have uh, quite a few listeners in Tennessee. Nashville's a great place. Mm-hmm. Yes, I and, took a trip down now, there. Now the uh, couple of new dates for April Christmas, the birthday girl. Oh, she the birthday playing. girl. Yes. Oh, March fifth on a Friday, a stumble in in London. She's playing there before eight o'clock, and then Saturday, March sixth, she's playing at five p.m. At the WHYM Craft Pub and Brewery in Hamptons. He's played there before, too. So. Very exciting. Now, uh, Eric, I notice you're shuffling papers. I assume you're still not using your tablet. Yeah, well, I haven't been feeling the best lately, so I decided that the, uh, hopefully in a couple weeks I'll, I'll be feeling better, and I'm going to try again one more time to go down to the uh, to the phone store on, on St. Patty's Day and see if I can figure out the password. I and, could help you out with that. And, yeah, just come on down to T-Mobile. Uh, oh, work. did it's you hear? Working, but I just, just got to figure out that password. Okay, never mind. Jumbo. Did you hear that, uh, nope, Eric? No, we didn't. Oh, is, is it too lost. late? You've yep, rescinded your late. offer? Oh, yep. it, was, it was a quick deal. Oh, you had an offer for some help, but it's too late now. Oh, all right. God knows I need plenty of help. So. Well, it, it, well it, are you sure it's too late, Christian? Mm, let me think about it. He's going to think about it. You might have some help coming with the tablet, which would be good because uh, the, the uh, tablet has uh, healing uh, powers, so it'll actually help you feel better once you get it up and running. Oh, all right. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. I need all help I can get, so. Mm-hmm. Don't we all? Yes. All right. That's going to be the end of the report. So, oh, my uh, goodness. Um, really? That's the end of the report? Wow, very abrupt. And eventually. Wow. Well, that's true. Show, I guess it's six o'clock, so. I guess all good things must come to an end. Anybody you're currently beefing with, Easy G? No, I'm not beefing with anybody. I'm just too tired to beef with anybody. So. Too tired to beef. I told the Peter White the other day, I'm not beefing with anybody. I don't know if I believe that. Hmm. All right. Anyways, I don't know. So Do you believe I live with Matt yet? What? Do you believe I live with Matt yet? Silence. Yeah, you still living with Matt, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you believe I just want to make sure you believed it. I I, I, well, I knew you had I knew I knew you had some type of conspiracy theory. Well, we wanted it. to get we were hoping to get Eric in there too and get you guys bunk beds. No, we're not doing that. No, we need our. Are space. you sure about that? Oh, see, Christian's on, Christian's open to it. No, I'll, I'll sleep I'll in the bathroom. All, I think I'm all set. We we we, we uh, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good idea. You're right. Wow, I agree. Okay, I think it would make a great reality show. All More right. about reality all right, TV so, shows. Uh, Hmm? Time for my dinner, so we'll sign off. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> All right, Eric. Thank you for a stellar uh, entertainment report. We appreciate it.
All right. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You didn't, you, you didn't oh, answer oh. Gonzo's question. Oh, right. Oh, I, already, I already answered that question on the Peter White Morning Show. So. Oh, okay. All right. all right. Very good. I guess I'll go back Going and on. listen to it. Oh, oh, all right. All right, Easy G. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, my friend. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> He was once a dog from around the way. Easy. You want to know about stock market crashes, COVID 19, drive by. You still there, Eric? He's gone. He's gone. Oh, he's gone? This celebrity <laughs> gossip. Easy G's gotcha. <laughs> Entertainment report style. That's why I'm easy. Cause ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Are, are you ready for stock time? Let's find out. Ready? Let's go. Well, there you go. Another stellar entertainment report Lovely. from EZG. I, I think that was... Um, uh, you know, I, I will say this, and I mean this sincerely. Of all the entertainment reports that EZG Eric Gagnon, EZG Eric Gagnon has ever done for us, I think that one was by far the most recent. <laughs> no, I'm being sincere. I, I really mean that. I mean, yeah, it happened two minutes ago. I really did. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you, we didn't, uh, you know, we weren't imagining it. That, that, that was not a dream. That was real. 